più drei farfaloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amore. Yesterday, as I was driving towards home, the mileage on my clocks got over the 7,500 limit and ping, up came the all service warning at the message window. And it's the one that'll stay on unless you actually change it whenever you're riding the bike. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reset that with some free software. This is my new to me, although I've done a thousand miles or more on it already, Multistrada 1200S Touring 2011. And I actually really love this bike. I'm enjoying riding it. I did know that the all service warning message was gonna come on because it had counted it down for the last 500 miles or so, it kept saying. Oil service, 300 miles when you start it. Oil service, 200 miles. Every time I started it, I got that. So I knew it was coming. But let me tell you a little bit more about this oil service message. It's actually fixed to the mileage. And although these clocks have done 7,500 miles, this actual bike has done 26,000 odd miles. And the engine that's in it has only done about 20,000 miles. So as you can see, tying the oil service to a random measure on the clocks isn't really sensible. The other thing is, this bike had a service a year ago with nice, fresh, fully synthetic oil that's only done about 2,000 miles so far. So it's not really quite due that oil service. The other one that's really nice is when this mileage is doubled, it'll come up with Desmo service. And that'll be the thing you see, which means you need an oil service and the Desmo service. To get the, the diagnostic port, you do have to take the seat off. Both the passenger and the rider's seat. Clips on here and then you have to just fiddle out the little catches inside. Not a problem. And then amongst the wiring, you should find the diagnostic port. You know, it should have a rubber cap over. Obviously, someone's been here before. You need to have the right adapter, which I will explain later on in the video, so that you can plug in, it'll only go one way, into a OBD2 type connector, which has another little box on it, which is an Elm thing, that then plugs into the laptop. The software I'm going to use is called Melco Diag, and I'll tell you how to get that in a little while. But first of all, let's just start it up. And it gives you this screen that allows you to connect to your bike. Now, I just click connect. It comes up with different messages depending on the different types of bike you've got. So yes, mine's a 2011. And as you can see, it's come up with the software version, the ECU type, so it thinks it knows what this bike is. It also tells me that the bike has done, according to the ECU, 12,096 kilometers, which would add up with what the dash thinks it is not necessarily what the ECU thinks it is, which surprises me actually. So, let's see what we've got on here. I'm gonna go for the resets. This software is actually the front for a lot of different versions of Ducati. So some of the buttons won't be relevant and some of them won't work. There is a forum and you can ask questions of the developer there and he's very, very responsive. I found with this bike that I actually needed to press the Desmo reset to reset the little message window. Great success. <laughs> Software comes from a website called jpdiag.akresss.com and it has a variety of uh, different softwares on it. And as you can see, for various types of Ducatis, I think, they have different software but the one for this particular bike is called Melco Diag. Now the picture on there isn't the latest version. If you look at the bottom right, you can see there's a version number. Also, some of the things that you can select 
are different as well. You can download the software quite easily, um, put it onto your computer, but the thing you need to do is actually connect to your bike and then request a license. And without connecting it to your bike, you will not get a license. Once you've unzipped the download, to start it, you just click on the melcodiag.exe. Gives you this flash screen. This window comes up. Now to get a license, you actually need to connect the software to your bike. You need to get the wiring. I'll tell you about that in a little while. To actually get it to connect, it does need a COM port showing in here. And I found using it on this laptop that it took a while for that to turn up. But once you've got the, the COM port connecting to your bike, which you may have to go into the system and sort out, you click on get license, which opens a browser window so that you can actually apply for a license from the developer. You have to put in your email address and it pulls out some details from the bike. Now I had a little bit of an issue with this in that because I had the wrong wire at first, it wouldn't pull the details from the bike. But using the forum, which I'll show you in a minute, we did manage to sort it out. Now the thing you can see at the top of the list of files behind is CLE.LIC. That is the license that was emailed to me. And now I've reopened the software, you can see the get license button bottom right is actually greyed out because I don't need a license now. Most times when you open the software, it warns you that if you're using it, it may actually remove any map that you might have already put on the bike. So you need to back that up and perhaps reapply it. Now at this point, all I've done is turn off the service message on the little information window. And as you uh, will have seen before, I actually used the Desmo reset. This window or this uh, menu system is for a lot of different bikes, some of which are tailored to something very specific. If you're doing something beyond what I'm doing in this, I would suggest you use the forum and you actually ask the developer about it. On some of the other windows that open on the menu system, there are some very interesting things. I'm not sure with this software which options work for your bike or not. Again, I'd say go to the forum before you start making any uh, sort of major changes. The forum does have a lot of information on it and it is recommended that you actually look through here before you start asking questions or making new threads. However, as I uh, really couldn't get beyond getting uh, a license, I did start a thread and here's what I actually got as a response very quickly from the people at JP Diag. I managed to solve my issues. So I've been very pleased with getting the software and being able to use it to reset the light. It seems trivial, but it is a real annoyance if you've got that service or Desmo warning light all the time. So I think this was a really good thing. This was a, the second set of wires that I bought. I actually bought them on eBay from a seller that said they would work with Ducatis. And the reason I did that was that if they didn't work, I could send them back. And there was a very good reason why I was taking that precaution. It was because I'd originally bought this, which is an Elm 1.5 uh, connector, but it just wouldn't work with the actual bike. Using the forum online, the uh, developer did tell me that not all of them will work. And unfortunately, this one didn't. It might actually work with other Ducatis and other things, but not with mine. I'm very pleased to have reset that oil service message. It seems trivial, but it's one of those things that just irritates you as you're riding down the road. The software from JP Diag worked great. You've got to have a bit of patience and obviously to get a license, you've got to get in touch with them. But resetting it, it's now in my hands. I don't need to go to a Ducati dealer and pay them money for something that should just be a very simple change. And although the developer does let you use this software for free, if you get a license from him, there is a mechanism to actually give some recompense for the money that you and I are saving by not having to take the bike to a dealer. So I'm gonna click on the PayPal button that's on the application. And in this instance, I'm sending 20 euros. I'm really chuffed. And if we don't do this, 
what encouragement will software developers have to keep supporting us in the future with perhaps more bikes that we buy? Other things I'm gonna investigate with this software. I want to reset my pin code so I'm going to do that at some point in the future. And also, I want to see if it'll read error codes. Now, I'm pretty sure that it will do that for this model of bike. Uh, the software is actually tailored to work with lots of different types of Ducati. So if I do have a problem, I will use the forum to find out what I need to do. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this and if you think it's going to save you money, do click on the like button. Why not subscribe? Because I've got some plans with this bike. Let's see where I get to.